I like to look at this on a spectrum that considers the level of complexity and customization that your app needs. So on the left side here, we have low levels of complexity, low levels of customization. And on the right, we have high levels. We're gonna separate this spectrum into three sections and then we'll dig deeper into each of them. So on the left here, we have no code tools. And then in the middle, we have tools that talk to each other and on the right, we have no code builders. On that far left side of the spectrum, the no code tools, these are generally going to be SaaS products. So software as a service tools where you use these out of the box tools to create custom flows potentially within your own business. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to create a custom sales pipeline for your business. You could use a tool like Active Campaign, which is an email marketing service that also lets you create pipelines and lots of different automations and flows. And you could really just control every single step a prospective customer goes through from when they first make contact with you through all the way to when they are an actual customer. Of course, you're going to be limited by the confines of the SaaS product, but you can still create a lot of customization. Or maybe you want to create a custom survey, for example, where when one person taking the survey chooses a certain answer to a question, they will go down one path, whereas if another person chooses another answer to a question, they will go down a different path. So you could be creating a survey with conditional logic. The thing with these no-code tools is that you are going to be creating custom internal processes. And of course, you are going to be limited by the capabilities of the tools themselves. Now, in the middle of the spectrum, we're looking at tools that talk. So if you are using no-code tools on the left end of the spectrum to create individual internal processes, well, you could connect them to each other so that they talk to each other essentially and create full systems. This would happen either using APIs to connect those tools together or by using services like Zapier or Make, which essentially allow you to create triggers and actions. So if something happens in one tool, then something happens in another tool. For example, if someone submits that custom survey that you've created, then they are sent into that custom sales pipeline that you've created. Now, looking just a little bit farther up the spectrum, we start to have website development platforms come into play. Now, when we're looking at the no-code tools and the tools that talk to each other, these are internal systems and processes, but you're not able to bring external users onto them necessarily. Now, when we come to these website development platforms, like WordPress or Webflow, for example, you have the ability to create custom front ends. So a storefront or a landing page, for example, and that front end can then connect to other no code tools. Now, this is when we start having the ability to bring external users onto the platform and sell our own product, for example. The thing to keep in mind, however, is that none of these things are data driven applications. So if you want to create a custom application, we have to go farther to the right end of the spectrum. But what is a data driven application? Well, if we're looking at the right side of the spectrum, these are no code app development platforms that let you build the things farther down on the spectrum. So maybe instead of building that survey using the no code tool that uses custom logic. Maybe you want to build an app that lets other users build their own surveys using custom logic, or maybe you want to build an application that lets people build their custom surveys, lets people build their custom sales pipelines and have all their data in one place. Really the easiest way to look at this is with custom no code development platforms that fall on the right end of the spectrum. You can work your way down, but you can't do the opposite, of course, and work your way up. Now, we personally use Bubble both for ourselves and with our clients, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to a guide that will walk you through all the ins and outs of that platform if it's something you're considering as well.